Part-time work is known for unpredictable hours and low pay, but for some people, it can pay $250,000 a year or more. These people are the nearly 4,300 non-executive directors who fill the boards of large U.S. companies. They oversee top executives, shape strategies, and fend off crises. These board members meet as a group fewer than once a month and work on average just under five hours a week. Collectively, S&P 500 companies paid their executive directors $1.4 billion in 2015. This number, by the way, excludes CEOs and other top execs. Director pay has risen 9.8% since 2013, the highest paid board? Regeneron Pharmaceuticals. The 12 directors at the biotech firm made at least $1.7 million each during its last fiscal year. Chairman Roy Vagelos made $20.5 million in cash, stock, and perks. The median director pay at Salesforce.com reached $621,000. And at Goldman Sachs, the median director pay was $594,000 in 2015. Companies and directors say the pay is needed to recruit established business government and nonprofit leaders. Corporate governance activists agree board responsibilities have grown and demand is high for seasoned directors, but say pay is still too high. Some companies like HCA and Amazon don't pay their directors at all. Berkshire Hathaway pays its directors very little. Berkshire board members received $900 for attending one in-person meeting in 2014, $300 each for two conference calls, and $4,000 a year for those serving on the board's audit committee. Boards set their own members' pay. Federal securities rules primarily require companies to disclose director compensation pay policies. Based on the Wall Street Journal's analysis of the data, on average, roughly half of director pay at S&P 500 companies comes in the form of restricted shares, options, or other instruments tied to company shares.